first of all. Um, the doll at me. What's it? We need to have nothing in our hands. But before the class even gets underway, the teachers find themselves with a situation on their hands. Boys, we need to be. Boys, boys. Boys, we can't, we can't teach you at the moment like this. We're going to need more adults because we cannot manage the situation that's in there. We need Mr Drew to come in here or some kind of... to turn it into a circus. Someone's going to end up in tears, guys, yeah? Someone's going to end up in tears. Boys, boys. The call's gone out for Mr. Drew. Who are you missing? Sorry? Who are you missing? T uh, Dom and Max R, but they have just gone with Lindsay. They have? Yeah. But the rest of them in here, they've only just now sat down. The rest of the time, it's been a circus, to be quite frank. Hello, Mr. Drew. By the time he arrives, most of the boys have been brought under control. Um, I think these boys are ready to go and have a, to have a lesson. I think they're ready to get on with it. Then do it with these six, sir. Mm. And do it with these six, and the others will deal with it. Brilliant. Thank you very That's much, fine, sir. sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Clark, you've chosen not to be here. No. Okay. No. Max, Clark, you've chosen not to be here. So you can be outside. Out the door. You've chosen not to be in the room. Off you go. I love you. Yeah, I'm glad you do. <laughs> Out you go. Clark, you've chosen not to be in the room. Let's go. I okay. am choosing now. Let's go outside. Uh -uh. Clark, you're stopping everyone else having their lesson now. Mama. You are, because Mama. they need to be able to have their lesson. You just carry on, sir. Clark okay. will be going in a minute. It's fine. Clark. I'm going back to my apartment. This is the first lesson we've really tried with the boys that is very open, very free form, really. Drama by its nature, although there's structure to it, does allow for lots of running around and activity and such like. And it's a mixed bag, but actually the drama lesson's still taking place. We could easily just abandon it. And we could just say, do you know what, drama, let's not do that with this boys. They can't cope, they can't do it. But actually, more than half of them are. And for the five who aren't, we'll deal with that. The head teacher is not letting me take part in my favourite lesson. What's that? Drama. Well, have you been doing something? Because someone flung water in my face, so I flung water back. Because I can't go back in. You're not allowed to go back in. Well, can you go over there, please? No. Clark makes one last attempt to rejoin the lesson. He can't get in because we've shut the doors. You're cross with me, Clark. I know you are. I know. I know. He, Helen, he's, he's digging himself a massive hole and he's just digging and digging and digging. And actually, he wants our response. Helen, just, just let him walk, Helen. Let him walk. But if you ignore him, like I've yeah. been told to ignore him, you get told you're a bad mother. But it's those moments, isn't it? And at the moment, he, he wants an argument with everyone. He wants the shouting match. Yeah. And do you know what? If he can't get it right, then he won't take part. All right. I'll see you in a little while. Cheers. Bye. Boys, we need to head out. Let's make a move. That was a nightmare. That drama session I had is probably <laughs> the most unpleasant educational experience I've ever it. had. I am. Like, ever had. Uh, I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> um, and then afterwards, you're like, well, I've just got to go and it's do it again. Long. Like, you've just got to go and do it again because the, we, we can't slow down. Like, how we feel isn't really that important. We've just got to do everything we can. Mr Drew wants the parents to understand what triggers their children's outbursts at school. So daily joint activities are compulsory. This afternoon, it's PE, but emotions are still running high. And Tom is involved in another scuffle. After the events in the drama class, Mr Drew's decided it's time to lay down the law. All right, boys, on me. Boys, on me. Put it bluntly, boys. Some of you aren't committing and some of you aren't trying. Some of you at the moment, based on the drama lesson and based on some of your behaviour today, are just being deliberately difficult. So, Mr Valente will lead you around as lesson because, you know what, that's important for us. Opportunity to be outside, do things together as a group. But from 4.30 onwards, a number of you will be coming to see me and we will be talking through exactly where we are.
It's early days at summer school, but already Mr. Drew's legendary patience has been sorely tested. You buy loads of things and then you eat them. That's why you're so fat. Right, you're stopping everyone else having a lesson now. I'm not. You are. Nope. After his behaviour earlier today, Max C and Mum Ruth have been called into the head's office. Why are we here? I don't know. Okay, have a think. Because uh, uh, my mum's been naught. Uh, I think nothing could be further from the truth. <laughs> Honest, Max? I don't know why we're here. Okay, so I'll tell you what then. Like this morning, you were rude and abusive to me, you disrupted a lesson, and you thought it was all just a big joke. Great joke, great laugh, absolutely fantastic. Max, I'll put it bluntly to you, look at me. I'm not having it. I'm not having that behaviour. I will do everything I have to do to help you, everything. But you have to give a bit as well, and you didn't give a bit today. I'm so ashamed of you. You are a better person than that, Max. A better person. And do you know what, Max, look at me. Tomorrow will be another day. You have another chance to make us proud, but today you got it wrong, OK? Clark also has a date with Mr Drew. Clark? Clark! But the head appears to have been stood up. You'll go that way. I said, come on, you have a, a meeting with Mr Drew, and he just said, oh. And that was it. I hate him. Technically, the headmaster now is my worst enemy. For some reason or another. If he smartened up his attitude and just accepted what I wanted to do, I would be fine. But he doesn't want to do that. I don't know why I got down. Eventually, Keith and Helen find their son and persuade him to face the headmaster. Come on, thanks, good boy. He only wants to chat a chat with you. If we were having this conversation, Clark, at about 12 o'clock, do you know what I've been saying to you? Fantastic. Brilliant. Because we'd have been talking after your maths lesson. Because actually, you think back on what's now happened this afternoon. Drama lesson, the way in which you behaved in that. I'm really looking forward to that one. Mr. Drew, it, it was I never started all of that. Did and I say you, you did? You took me out and not the person that started it. We should have both been taken out together, but no, just one little person was out the room. You didn't behave in the correct way at the start of the drama lesson. So I you... was only retaliating. Right, so weren't you... my fault, man. So you have no responsibility for what happened? No. It's not you, your fault at all? No. And that's where we're going to have to disagree. The thing is, Clark, I know you can still hear me, so it's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. What are you hoping to achieve or what are you currently doing? I'm not trying to achieve anything, Mr Drew. Then why are you doing it? Because there's some people in this, on this planet I hate to bits. You may be one of them, you may not be. I'm not saying anything, cos I don't want to get into trouble, right? You can express whatever opinion you like. Well, I'm not expressing anything, cos I don't want to be kicked out of this college. Ah, and there we get to the nub of the situation, to the absolute core of the situation. Please don't use that language in my room. Sorry? It is not my intention to sit here and say, you know what, Clark, enough is enough. At what point, though, Clark, do I turn around and say to your mum and dad, no, I'm sorry, we can't help your son anymore? Well, I'm not going to answer that question, Mr Drew. I'm going to put my point in now. For the past few days when you've kept saying, Clark, stop this, stop that, stop the other, I've just gotten fed up of it. It would be very nice, Mr Drew, if you could just leave me alone, if that's OK with you. No, it's not OK with me. I'm not just going to leave you alone, because actually just leaving you alone means that you just behave in a way that stops other people from learning isn't if fair you don't leave me alone, I'm just going to get worse, Mr. Well, I don't agree. The, this tone here that I'm speaking in now yeah. is going to get groanier mm. and groanier yeah. and groanier. Do you not think you ought to behave? Well, what did I come down here for? Do you not know? I I'm a problem know. child. Oh. I have problems behaving. Is, Clark, is your part of, no, is is your part part of that you don't understand? I don't, I'm not sure where you're what? going with it. Clark, I'm not sure where you're going with this. I don't, I don't, the bit I don't understand is where you're going with it, but... OK. Clark, 
Clark, I'll I come you. down and get help, not to be told off. OK, Clark, I'll tell you what now. You need to understand that we will carry on doing things the way that we do them. And, Clark, I won't just leave you alone, because I don't think leaving you alone is the right thing to do. Clark, well, our time is, right, our well, time is done. OK. I'll let you go off with Mum and Dad. Mum yeah. and Dad have got some conversation to have with you later. Yeah. And we'll go from there. Bye. Thank you. I have not been so ashamed in my whole entire life as I have been there. Just the way we spoke, just disgusting. But I tell you something, I will get out of this, is how to discipline. 